Welcome to the virtual New York Sheep and Wool Festival. My name is Janet Conrad. I am here to introduce you to my book, A Knitting Journey. After many, many years of teaching knitting and designing knitwear, it became my observation that knitters are very often disappointed in at least some aspect of the appearance of a finished project. This disappointment is often due to a lack of knowledge of techniques. When you know your techniques, you can make all your knitted projects end up looking just the way you want them to look. A knitting journey is essentially a series of lessons on techniques. Each technique is learned by making a swatch. The directions for each swatch are written out clearly in the book. Learning a technique by means of making a swatch not only provides you with a visual sample of the technique for future reference, it also avoids the need to experiment with a technique on a project in progress. Sometimes it takes several attempts at a technique to feel comfortable with it. And sometimes it's even necessary to rip some work out. This is much better to do on a swatch than on a regular project. It's a good idea to store your to store your swatches in a three ring notebook in plastic sleeves and to label your swatches such as this one and write on the label any information which would be helpful to you when you consult this for future reference. This is a swatch in the color section of the book for intarsia knitting. The book is suitable for all levels of knitters. For the beginner it starts at square one with the very first loop. For those who have had more knitting experience, it goes on to more advanced techniques. A knitting journey is written in three parts. The parts roughly correlate to beginner, intermediate, and advanced at the end of each part. There are patterns which utilize all the techniques the reader has just learned. The patterns in the book include items for household use, such as dishcloths, coasters, placemats, pillows such as this one, and blankets, and also items that warm the body from head to toe. Knitting swatches and learning techniques can be tedious and much less fun than making a project. But always remember, techniques are to knitting what scales are to music. Practicing scales helps the musician make more beautiful music. Practicing techniques helps the knitter make more beautiful projects. When you knit, you are participating in a skill of true historic significance, and yet one that is so very relevant to the world in which we live today. As we stay home more at this time, trying to stay well and slow the spread of COVID-19, Knitting provides us with a peaceful and productive way to use our time. It is my hope that the knowledge and skills acquired through reading the book will serve to enhance the personal knitting journey of every reader. Thank you for stopping to spend a few minutes with me to learn about my book. I hope you'll enjoy the rest of your time at the Sheep and Wolf Festival.